What's up, Baddy Army? Welcome, Welcome to, to another, another segment of In the Kitchen with Baddy Twins. Making shrimp fettuccine Alfredo pasta, girl. Listen, yes, girl. Listen, when I tell you I'm ready already, I would not even start yet. Yo, we haven't had pasta in so long, bitch. Uh huh. And we're ready. Yes. And um, we wanted to make something that was kind of like um, non Caribbean because you know, most people make Caribbean stuff and we can't cook everything. So we have, we have a little, um, a little, what do you call it? What the word? Um, Italian? Niche? No, a little, um, diversity. Americanized. A little diversity. Yeah. yeah. And as you guys can tell, we're not home. We're, we're by Cheshire's house. Yes. So we're cooking. Bestie. Yes, we're cooking for the gang today, girl. So you now. Uh -huh. It's about to be fun. It's about to be a party. But, okay. anyways, let's get into this grocery list, girl, because she's hungry. She's famished. Yeah. She's ready to eat. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's go. Okay, guys. So let's get straight into our grocery list. So first on the list we have our pasta. The pasta we're using today is fettuccine. You know, girl, for all the Italians out there, fettuccine, girl. And we have the shrimp, of course. Now the shrimps we're using is the already cooked shrimp. It's peeled, but it has a tail on. So you guys can choose whatever kind of shrimp you want to use or whatever, but that's the kind we're using today. Now, guys, we're going to be making our Alfredo sauce. We're going to be making it from scratch. So the ingredients we need for that is, first and foremost, we're gonna need some butter. We're gonna be needing our Parmesan cheese, of course. We're gonna be needing some heavy whipped cream. We're gonna be needing some cream cheese. We're gonna be needing some garlic, of course. Also gonna be using some Old Bay seasoning. Like, how can you cook something with seafood in it and not use Old Bay? Old Bay is the holy grail for seafood, okay? We're gonna be needing some black pepper. We're gonna be needing some onion powder. We're gonna use a little bit of adobo today. And we're gonna have some, my do it on the side. We're gonna be having some sweet plantains on the side. Yay. And guys, you can't have pasta without having some garlic bread on the side, girl, okay? So that's it for today's go. So let's, I am ready to get into this meal and start preparing. Who's head chef today? Nobody. Okay, so we're both gonna be doing um, even work. I'm gonna let the girls come in and help out. You know, maybe stir the pot. Put the bread in the oven, I don't know, but let's get into this meal because she's ready to eat, all of us is ready to eat and we haven't ate all day, so let's go. Okay, so first thing we want to do is of course wash our shrimp. Mm -hmm. We're going to open that, put it in a container. Then we're going to add some vinegar to that, just a little. Then we're going to wash it like this. No sa them shrimp are cold bad. No sa carry. Woo! Okay guys, so it's time to season our shrimp. Now guys, when you're seasoning shrimp, you need minimal seasoning. You don't need a lot, because you don't want your shrimp to be too salty, or you don't want to over season it. Especially so, if you're making, like we're making a fettuccine, you know, whatever. Alfredo, you, and yeah. it's gonna be cheese, and it's gonna be heavy whipped cream and everything. You don't need too much seasoning. So I'm gonna put a little bit of adobo on here. Some garlic powder. Now guys, I'm gonna add a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. This is the very hot one. So I'm not gonna add too much. Just like a generous amount, that's good. Then we're gonna mix that in. Now guys, you can take off your, the tails off the shrimp if you want to, but I'm gonna let it stay for presentation purposes. I like how my shrimp looks when it has a tail on it. It just looks very cocktailish, and I just like it, okay? No, so them shrimp are cool. Them shrimp are cool, bad, bad, bad. I feel like I'm gonna take it right out of the freezer. Okay guys, so we're done seasoning our shrimp. What we're gonna do is allow it to sit for like 10-15 minutes so that the seasonings and the juices can marinate and it's gonna give it that delectable, tasty, scrumptious taste that we need. So in the meanwhile, we're just gonna put that to the side 
And then we're gonna move on to boiling our fettuccine pasta. So I'm gonna catch some hot water in a pot right now. So we have a pot of water on the stove right now. We're gonna wait till it comes a boil and then we're gonna add our fettuccine pasta, my love. Yes! So you don't wanna overboil your pasta. You want it to boil for at the most 12 minutes because you want it to be the right texture, right here. Well, first of all, they have to read the box and see what it says because for this particular pasta, pasta is. For <laughs> 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 no. this particular pasta is 12 minutes. Right, so the pot is finally boiling right now. What I'm gonna do before I add my fettuccine pasta, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil, olive oil, and this is to prevent the pasta from sticking when it goes in a pot. So you need a little oil. Then I'm gonna add my fettuccine pasta in there. No, so the steam will come from my pot, I hot my love. Ooh. Woo! We're gonna set the timer now because we're gonna allow this to boil for 12 minutes. All right, so 12 minutes and this will be ready. So guys, meanwhile the pasta is boiling, we're gonna move on to our Alfredo sauce that we're gonna make from scratch. Okay guys, I'm very excited because this is my first time making Alfredo sauce. I want it to be creamy and cheesy and nice and thick. So that's what we're about to do right now. So let's go. Guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is mince up my gar uh, garlic that I'm gonna need for the sauce. Okay guys, we still have six minutes on the timer for, for the pasta, but I'm just gonna move it around a little bit. Make sure it's not sticking. Oh, it looks good, Carrie. Getting the texture coming in. Mm-hmm. You wanna taste one? No, you know don't cook yet. All right, still has five minutes to go, so let's leave that alone. Let's move on to our sauce. Okay guys, first we're gonna add some butter to our pot. Exactly one stick of butter, but I don't have the stick butter, so I'm just gonna put a good amount in there. Now guys, you wanna allow this butter to melt, and you wanna have your stove on low, because you don't want your butter to burn. Then we're gonna add our garlic, our minced garlic. Now we're only using two cloves of min minced garlic. Now you wanna get your whisk. You're gonna whisk that around. Ooh, you smell like garlic in this little nosa. You not smell like one Italian restaurant. Garlic, yeah, pop. You not smell like your nostrils, Gary. It did, eh? Our pasta is done. We're gonna turn the fire off right now. Then we're gonna add three cups of heavy whipping cream. Ooh. Then we're gonna get a whisk and whisk that around. Then we're gonna add one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Now guys, you could get you guys can get the block Parmesan cheese and then you grater it, but we chose the one that was already grated. And then we're gonna use the whisk. We're gonna whisk it around until the cheese melts. Okay guys, once your Parmesan cheese has melted, you're gonna add two tablespoons of cream cheese. Now guys, adding the cream cheese is optional, but to give it that extra kick, that extra taste, that creaminess, that creaminess, you're gonna add the cream cheese. Oh, you see that bubble? Bubble, bubble, pata, bubble. So guys, I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to that. Not too much, just a little bit. As you guys can see, his, the sauce is thickening up. You want it to be very thick, well not too thick. You want it to be thick enough so it can cling to your shrimp and your pasta. Okay guys, so now it's time to pour the water off of our pasta. I'm just gonna taste one and see if it's al dente. Mm -hmm. Let me taste. Mm -hmm. Why you eat the, all of it? I could actually eat the pasta by itself, like dry like this. Tastes good. You want to try one? Mm, no, so the pasta here tastes good, my love. Mmm, al dente. Okay, guys, so now we're going to move on to our shrimp. We have our pot on the stove right here that's heating. We're going to add some olive oil to the pot. That's a good enough amount. And then we're going to let that heat up a little bit before we add our shrimp. Now, this shrimp is already pre-cooked, so we, it's not going to need to be cooked for any more longer. We just want to kind of like let it saute in the olive oil. So we're probably just going to leave it in the pot for like five minutes or six. Five or six minutes. Yeah. So I think this pot is hot enough now. Time to add. Mm. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. No, so them shrimp are smell good. Them shrimp are smell like the ocean. So guys, the shrimp is done right now. I'm gonna turn the fire off. Now it's time to add it to our homemade Alfredo sauce. So we're gonna add the shrimp first. Now we're only gonna take add the shrimp. We're not gonna add the sauce or the water that sprung from cooking the shrimp. We're not gonna add that to the sauce. We're just gonna add the shrimp and then we're gonna add our fettuccine pasta. Guys, now we're adding the shrimp to this Alfredo sauce. Homemade Alfredo sauce. Ooh, this look good. Ooh, guys, you see how thick this Alfredo sauce is? Yes, just how I like it, girl. Now it's time to add our fettuccine pasta. Now, guys, you don't want to add too much pasta. You just want to add enough for the sauce. Oh, this looks so good. Ooh, this looks so good, girl. Maybe you can add some more noodles to that. I want to mix that in, guys. Oh, this look good. Oh, this look good, Gary. Mm-hmm. Oh, creamy and nice. I think just the right amount of sauce and just the right amount of pasta. Okay, guys. So we have our oven heated at 400 degrees. Now we're gonna add our garlic bread to our pan. And then we're gonna add it to the oven. And we're gonna leave it in there for nine to 10 minutes. No, so this is for hurt because I'm hungry. Everybody hungry. Chantel hungry, Joshel hungry. Craig hungry, Kerry hungry. Oh, this bread is gonna be Ooh, good. Oh, this Ital Ital Italian bread. Is that sub we a sub? Is, is that what food long is? No, sir. Jesus, don't bother yourself, Kerry. I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes my friend. Now it's time to start frying our plantains. Come in for earth because we're hungry. Yes, drop it in the pot. Here, don't burn me. No kid, just flush up. Carrie, you can't do it, sir. Let me some more. Uh-uh. Okay guys, so we're done cooking the fettuccine Alfredo and um, Josh and Chantel is about to try a, a, a taste test. Mm -hmm. So guys, dig in. Make sure you get um, fettuccine and shrimp. Okay. On the fire, I can taste it. Let me know if it need a little bit more salt. Wanna hurry up the nose, Wanna fight the noodle limb. It need more salt? All right, good. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. It is? Amazing. Mm -hmm. It's so, so good. good. <laughs> <laughs> Them said so good two times together. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're ready to eat. Okay guys, so our sweet plantains over here is ready. Looking nice and scrumptious. And golden. Ooh. And our garlic bread is also ready. Ooh, so, toasted. You know what happened now? We're ready for eat. Listen, not time for eat. Ready. Chantel, you ready? No. Joshella, time for eat! So time to share the food guys. All right, so I'm gonna put a generous amount of pasta on the plate. Then we're gonna put some shrimps in there. Some presentation is everything guys. Presentation is everything. We're gonna add a little bit of parsley flakes on top of that, you know. Spruce it up for presentation, guys. You know I'm very big on presentation. So we're just sprinkling a little bit on top. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, girl, I'm feeling like sorbet. Ooh. Ooh, guys, look at that. Okay, guys, so the food is shared. The food is ready. So just grab one. Grab one, guys. Y'all, y'all have y'all forks. Let me see which one I'm more. I'll take this one. So 
guys, if you want to see us eat this meal, we're, we're all going to do a mukbang together. So make sure you watch that, okay? So this is the end of this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you recreate this meal, make sure you send us pictures and videos so we can see how good of a job you did. And guys, it's better to make your Alfredo sauce from scratch. It tastes okay. so much better. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys? So just ditch the one in the can or the glass jar or whatever, guys, and make it from scratch. Uh -huh. It doesn't take that long, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and as we always say, every day is, is another, another chance to slay. slay. So slay, bitch. Slay, bitch. See you in the next one, guys. Mwah. Wait, 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 wait. I know you wasn't about to leave without subscribing. And while you're at it, click the bell right beside it so you can know every time we upload a video. And grow. Make sure you like this video, grow. And leave a comment down below, grow. Okay, grow. Okay. Right now. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins.